one of the most famous research projects that's ever been done on relationships, is called the Alameda County Study. It was headed by a Harvard social scientist, and it took place over a nine-year period. They tracked the lives of 7,000 people, residents of Alameda County in California. They found that the most isolated people were three times more likely to die, three times more likely to die than the most relationally connected people. Very interesting findings. They discovered that people who had bad health habits, smoking, poor eating patterns, obesity, alcohol use, and so on, people that had bad health habits but strong relational connections lived significantly longer than people who had great health habits but were isolated. In other words, they found that it's better to eat Twinkies with good friends than to eat broccoli alone. <laughs> Scientifically established now. Written up. It's another study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. It's the Journal of the AMA. They took 276 volunteers and infected them all with a virus that produces the common cold. In this study, uh, again, published in the Journal of the AMA, in this study they found that people with stronger emotional connections, deeper relationships, did four times better fighting off illness than those who were more isolated. Those with stronger relational connections were less susceptible to colds, they shed less virus, and they produced significantly less mucus than relationally unconnected subjects. <laughs> I am not making this up. This is in this study. It is literally true. Unfriendly people are snottier than friendly people. <laughs> literally true. Now, I believe that studies like this are simply confirming at a biological level what the writers of Scripture taught a long time ago. You were created for community. You were made for relational connectedness. You were designed by God to love and be loved, to know and be known, to serve and be served, to celebrate and be celebrated. And to miss out on this is to miss out on the reason why God made you. Whatever else you achieve, whatever else you accomplish, however much other stuff you pile up, however high you climb on the ladder, you miss this and you miss the reason why you were made.